Welcome back. And for those of you that are current and following along with these lessons, Happy New Year. This is the first video I'm going to release in 2010. We're going to start easy and going to ease our way back into Excel and uh, save some of the complicated stuff for the next couple of lectures. But today I want to show you one more value filter. Remember in uh, lesson nine, we went through a variety of value filters and how they work. I want to show you one more today that may be handy in a situation like this. This is where we left off last time. And what I'm going to do is click here, get my field list back for a minute. And I want to get uh, some of these row labels out of the way. And we're going to bring CPT code down. So here is, if we hide this field list again, all of the CPT codes. And there's a big long list. And I've obviously simplified it considerably to get it to here. What this value filter will do is if you come to value filters, it's down here and it's called top 10. And it doesn't have to be top 10. We can, we'll do top five to start with. It doesn't have to be top either. It can be bottom. But what we're going to do is we're going to do top five items. And we can look at the ones with the largest build charges, the largest amount that we've had to contractually write off, the largest allowed amount, the largest sum of budget. Let's see what the largest amount based on the allowed is. So we're going to do that. Sure enough, we take that long list. Here are the top five by sum of allowed. And if it helps you to, it's easy to sort it that way. And we can see that these are the, the five CPT codes with the largest al allowed amount for our the, the time period in our pivot table. And if we want to come back and you can either undo it or I'm going to go this way and clear the filter. If I want to come back and do value filters, let's say that I want to do instead of top, let's do the bottom, we'll do 10. This time we want to look at the bottom by percent collected. So now I'm looking at is the ones where I'm making the lowest percentage of my bill charges. And there they are. And again, if you want to sort them this way, make 19.2% of the bill charges on CPT code 201, which is, which may or may not be a cause for concern there. I mean, maybe the bill charges out of whack, maybe something's on with my contracts. And again, if you, um, quick and easy, let's look at just Medicare. And there's Medicare for those. And what I'm going to do is just to make sure I've got it, I'm going to go back, clear the filter, and say just for Medicare, I want to see the ones where Medicare is the bottom 10, 5% collected. That fast, Excel can jump through a whole bunch of data and look at the top or bottom 5 or 10 or X or whatever number you want to look at. And if we come back and clear, let's just look one more time. Value filters, top 10. You can look at items, percent sum. You can look at an overall sum, just top 10%, top 10 items. Um, we'll do top 10% by sum of bill. And look at the good ones in Medicare now. And you'll see that um, by percent collected, the top 10%, that's the biggest one. If you want to see Top 10% by sum of bill, top 10% by sum of allowed. Again, that's the biggest one. So I'm going to come back and do just one more. We're going to do, let's, I'm going to come up. I want to find the top 50%, and there they are. So I've got five big codes in my random data that uh, constitute 50% of the allowed amount that I've, uh, I'm getting from Medicare. It's a very powerful tool to look at the top or the bottom in any of a number of fields whether you want to look at by just number of items, the top 10%, or overall sum, it's all in uh, in the value filters, top 10. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.